Right, hello again. It's Mr. Ho here. Um, we're going to be doing some algebraic equations. And since we did algebraic expressions before, it's only right that we carry on with equations. Now, equations, it's something that you're going to be doing for a very long time. It's something that's it's going to be part of in terms of math. So it's it's a good way to to get this out the way and understand that everything involves your equations. Now, an algebraic equation. This is to solve a problem. Right? If you want to know how how high a wall is and how quickly you're gonna crash into that wall, you'll use an equation to solve that. If you want to know how they got to the moon, they use mathematical equations. Everything around us that, that can use logic to solve, we're going to be using equations. Now, when we have equations, this is information that you solve. based of information given. Right, so if you have um, a test and you are struggling to create one, it is pretty much just in the question that is given to you. Now I'm going to start off with some basic examples just to get you into the, the, the groove of things to see some examples here. Now here is a perfect example of an equation. Now first of all you can see the difference here between your expression and your equation. This equation over here has an equal sign. So I'm actually solving this problem. I'm solving for x. I'm trying to find out what x is. Now once again I'm left with just addition so I need to look for like terms. Do I have any like terms over here? No. This side of my left hand side of the equal sign, there is no like terms. On the right hand side, I've just got a 12. But what I can do with the 6, because I'm left with just addition, I can take it over the equal sign. Now once I take it over the equal sign, it changes its operation. So here it's 12. You can notice that this is a positive 6 over here. Positive 6. So it's now going to change to a negative 6. 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. There you go. Right? Same thing will happen in this equation over here. x minus 3 equals 7. Once again, I'm left with just addition over here. I mean, subtraction. Because I'm left with subtraction, I need to look, look for my like terms. No like terms here, no like terms here. I can take that over over there. So it's going to be x equals 7 plus 3. Why did it change to plus? I took it over the equal sign, took this with the operation, negative changes to a positive. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Right? Let's try another one over here. x plus 3 plus 2 equals 0. Once again, I'm left with just addition over here. So, do I have any like terms? Yes, I do have like terms in this equation. 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 equals what? 5. x plus 5 equals 0. Now, I want to get x alone over here. So, I'm going to take the 5 over. It is a positive 5, so it's going to change to a negative 5. And 0 minus 5 is still going to be minus 5, negative 5. So I'm going to leave it like that. That's your final answer. Right. Let's try the other side over here. 6 equals x minus 2. Now x is on the other side. Doesn't matter which side x is. As long as I'm solving for it, it's fine. I want to get x alone. You can see we just left a uh, subtraction over here. No like terms. I'm going to take it over. So I'm going to have 6 plus 2 equals x. Therefore, 8 equals x. So 8 equals x and x equals 8. Same thing. So if x was here and 8 was here, same thing. 8 equals x and x equals 8. Right? Exactly as you've been doing all along over here.
Right, let's try it another one. This time I'm going to put a coefficient in front of our variable. So we have 2x plus 2 equals 6. Now you notice I've got a coefficient over here. First things first, I'm left with just addition over here. So that means no like terms. So I'm going to take that over. So I have 2x equals 6. That changes to a negative 2. So I have 2x equals 4. Now that I have this, I want to get x alone because I'm solving for x. How do I get x alone? I'm going to divide by my coefficient. What is my coefficient in this equation? It is 2. So I'm going to divide by 2. Therefore, x equals 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 goes into 4 how many times? Twice. That is your answer. Right. Let's try it on this side over here. Same thing. 3x minus 4 equals 5. Left with subtraction only. No long terms. I'm going to take that over. So I have 3x equals 5. That changes to a positive. So I have 5 plus 4. 3x equals 9. Is that my final answer? No. I need to get x alone. So I need to divide by my coefficients. Which is going to be 3 in this instance. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Right? Because 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 goes into 9 three times. Right? Remember, if you need to stop at any moment, just click pause. Right, let's carry on. New equation. I'm going to have over here 6 plus 4 equals 5x. Right, I'm just left with addition over here. Means I must look for like terms. These are like terms over here. So it's 10 equals 5x. I want to get x alone. So what do I need to do? Divide by my coefficient, which in this instance is 5. What I do to the right, I do to the left. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So x equals 2 x equals 2. Right. Let's try another one over here. 6x plus 3 equals 4x plus 9. Right. Notice now, on both sides of my equal sign, I have an x. Right. I have a variable on both sides. Luckily for me, they're both x's. Now I'm left with addition on both sides, so I must look for like terms. There are no like terms on this side, and there are no like terms on this side over here. But I can put them together. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this over to the left-hand side, and take my 3 over to the right-hand side. Let me use some pens over here. So I'm going to take this 4x to that side, and I'm going to take this 3 to the other side over there. Right, so looking at my 4x first, it is a positive 4x. So when I take it over the equal sign, it will change to a negative 4x. Exactly like I did with my normal numbers. Now this is a positive 3, so when I take it over, it will change to a negative 3. So what is this 6x minus 4x? It's 2x. And what is 9 minus 3? It is 6. Now this looks more like what we've been doing. So you know what to do here. Divide by my coefficients. Therefore, x is equal to 3. 2 goes into 6, 3 times. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Okay. Now, some of you might be asking, how come I took my 4x over this side and I didn't take my 6x over to that side? No matter which side you use, it will still be the same. Here is the exact same equation, 6x plus 3 equals 4x plus 9. The exact same equation as this, right? All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 6x over there, and I'm going to take the 9 over there. Therefore, I'm going to have, right, I'm going to have positive 3, which is this number here. I'm taking the 9 over, so it's going to be negative 9 equals 4x. Remember, taking this positive 6 over, so it's going to change to a negative 6x. Right. Positive 3 minus 9 is going to give me negative 6 equals 4x minus, two, uh, minus 6x equals 
negative 2x. Now that I have that, I need to divide by my coefficient. And what is my coefficient over here? It is not just 2, but it is negative 2. What I do to the right, I do to the left. Negative divided by negative gives me a positive. So I'm going to have a positive 3. This cancels out with that. Therefore, I have x. So it is exactly the same. No matter which side you're going to use, it is going to be exactly the same. Right, let's do two more equations just to get the hang of it. Right. Let's use a bit of FOIL in our solving for x. 3, open brackets, x minus 2 equals 12. Right? I'm left with a negative over here. I can't do anything here. Right? So, first things first, I'm going to multiply it in. Okay? So, once I do that, I can see, actually... There's more than one way. So let's first do this. So I'm going to have over here 3x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 equals 12. Take that over because I can't do anything here. So I have 3x equals 12 plus 6. Taking it over the equal sign. Therefore I have 3x equals 18. Divide by my coefficient. Therefore x is equal to 6. Right, on the same equation that we are doing here, I want to show you another way. With the same exact equation, right, you know that this is one term over here. 3, open brackets, x minus 2, close brackets, equals 12. This is one equation, right? This is one term, there's another. So what I can do over here, I can actually just divide this side. You see, this is pretty much a term, right, with the x over here in the brackets. I can actually just divide this side by 3, divide that side by 3, because those are my coefficients. Therefore, that cancels out with that. I have x minus 2 equals 3 goes into 12. How many times? 4. x negative 2 goes over, so equals 4 plus 2. Therefore, x is equal to 6. Right? We have been teaching you this way because of the FOIL method. So you can stick with that. If some of you saw this way, you're more than welcome to try on that. Right, and one more equation just for your algebraic uh, equations, just so that you have all the tools necessary for that. I'm going to have over here, 5, open brackets, x minus 1 equals x plus 3. Here we've got variables on both sides. Okay, I'm going to multiply it in. Right, so we've got like terms, uh, no like terms over here. I'm left with addition and subtraction. So I have to look for like terms. There are no like terms. But I've got brackets over there. So I'm going to multiply it in. 5 times x and 5 times negative 1. 5 times x is equal to 5x. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, which equals to x plus 3. Now, on all my like terms on one side and on the other like terms on the other, I'm going to take that x over here and I'm going to take, use color. I'm going to take this x onto that side and this negative 5 onto that side. So I'm going to have 5x, that's a positive x, so it changes to a negative x equals 3 over here. Notice I don't have to put the plus because I know it's positive already. This is a negative 5, so negative 5 changes to positive 5. 5x five minus x, 4x, 3 plus 5, 8, divide by my coefficients, therefore x is equal to 2. Right, that's just your basic algebraic expressions. Thank you very much.